Uh, today I'm going to show you how to associate a file extension with our application and basically it means if we have our application like mine here is a which text editor now to show you I'm gonna create my application actually let's start from this my application uses its own file extensions they're called txge and I'm going to show you now create one and this one okay I'm going to save it and show you as you can see here's the file in documents my in my documents yes as you can see Windows says it's test1.txge and if double click it I double click it it shows me the message that Windows can open this file because it doesn't know which application it should use yes so basically in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to assign the application so Windows knows which application to use to open this file okay of course you have to have your application first now let's go to program CS assign using Microsoft Win32 and using system runtime interrupt services now first what we need to do is see is uh, find if this as is if this file extension is already associated yes we can't allow it to double associated here because it won't the application won't work so public static ball is associated return registry current user open subkey and here the subkey is software classes classes and here the name of your extension in my case it's txge and co um, comma false false this false this false here stands for we don't want to write anything to the subkey we just want to read it yes read it and this null stands here for if it will open this subkey yes then it means the file is already associated but if it is not existing then it means the file was never associated or it was associated but someone deleted it so public static void associate and here we're gonna create registry key file reg and limit file reg name it what you like uh, registry current user create sub key and here it will be software software classes dot txge the next registry key will be app reg which stands for registry application registry the place where we will register our application so registry current user create sub key and it will be in software classes applications and here the name of our program application in my case my notepad.exe remember about the extension yes that exe because it is executable and the last third key the app asac which stands for application associate association and it will be in registry current user create sub key here software well software mm, Microsoft Microsoft
Microsoft Windows uh, current version and current version Explorer file exts the file exts stands for file extension extensions and here dot txge here the name of your association yes your extension file extension of course first we're gonna start from file registry so file reg is create subkey and the first subkey we will create for our icon so create subkey in the um, well, sorry a mistake was here made uh, default default icon and set value in the first place leave empty so the application the registry will set it as a default value and see users well, users leave is equal one is equal one pictures Here this weird name is the name of my applicate of the icon icon and this is the path to the icon. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is set the perceived type perceived type. The perceived type is in shortcut is the thing that the file holds, yes. I'm going to set it as text because our file holds text, yes, encrypted text to be exact. Now the default icon perceived type, that's all. Let's start registering our application. We're gonna start from shell options. So create subkey, shell, open, command. Set value. Here the default value, of course, and here something like this. Application uh, executable path plus like this, and here like this. See this uh, slash quotation mark means it is just a quotation mark as in uh, Unicode character yes we will need it this percentage mark one here stands for if the application is run yes as I have this file here and I right click on it and here I have open yes if the user clicks right clicks on this file and clicks open then this will be cost so shell open command and this default value will here be as run the application from application executable path yes and this stands here for the path to this file yes the file that uses double click or click open now the next one will be same but here not open but edit is the same but if user clicks here and here will be option edit yes like uh, here you have add to windows media playlist it's not here maybe on a text editor you usually have those options yes now we will create uh, now we will give our application the default icon It is important because, uh, sorry, because um, user usually if sets this uh, icon, it will be the icon of the file. Yes. Okay. 
this should be all now for association Firesock create subkey and here we will create user choice user choice and set the value the value will be not the name the value prog id prog it as you can say it and here applications my notepad that easy yes that would be the application association now if this we would actually only associate files so we would add those all uh, registry entries to our registry which would nothing happen because the user would have to reboot his system so the registry would take actions we're not gonna do it we're just gonna notify the system that changed the values registry values or add it and DLL import shell32 DLL and here parameters will be char set equals char set auto and the next one will be set last error equals true and now create public static static extern void sa change notify 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 and then it's uh, parameters we will set uint w event id the next will be uint u flags the next will be int ptr dw item 1 item 1 and the second will be int ptr dw item 2 and now here we will call the sa change notify be sure not to mix those uh, you know those because it will harm your system actually it will cause it to malfunction Beta. now here in the w event id set 0 x 0 8 0 0 0 0 0 0 it is 6 zeros after 8 and in u flags 0 x 0 0 0 0 for zeros next will be int ptr 0 as in d dw item 1 and dw item 2 will be in ptr 0 yes mm, make sure it's 6 not next ok and now here this is the association and we will notify the system but still if we will assign everything our application won't know what to do so we gonna give some parameters to our static void main give parameters string as an string array args name it args and here if args that length equals zero then application run new form one else application run I will have here give arcs zero. I will explain later why uh, here I didn't give any string and here I give arc zero. The arc zero is the path to the file that user double clicked. Now we're gonna check if the file is associated. So if it's associated, nothing else associate now 
why I gave here Act 0 and here not. As you can see in my application in the public form 1, the first method is with string pile and it is created for the opening from Windows Explorer. So user double clicks it and the application will open the file from this here path. The second one is if actu actually user uh, is starting debugging it just by running the application, not by any file. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, it was activated, so looks it working. Now let's see if the file is associated. Nope. Yeah. Actually, you may want to associate it first. It's associated, so to class CG equals no. You know what? Let's see, maybe it was there. Let's set here to the Explorer. Microsoft. Windows mm. Wait. I'm just going to do something like this easier and faster okay let's save it let's see if it will associate it now let's see see associated it doesn't have the txg there and it has this uh, icon. If I double click it, uh, yeah, we do have some errors. not associated. Let's see now. Activate without any error. See? We can we have our file open. Now I'm gonna change it to show you. And I'm going to save it in documents as Test free. I'm gonna see test free and show the uh, icon. I can show you view large icons, extra large icons maybe. See, my icon is in here. Too big. As you can see, it has icon, and if I double click it, everything works fine. Okay, thank you for watching, see you later.